like an occultic initiation. He uses time to get your soul. When your prayer life dies while you become a millionaire, your soul is going. Are we together? When your relationship with your wife, you become a billionaire and now find an extra room for your wife and say, you can't stay with me again. I don't trust anybody in this life, even my biological mother. You think you are being wise, but your soul is going. There are people, the richer they become, the more they are starved of sleep. They sleep with keys in their hands. You have a garage where you park your car. You have a safe where you put your money. You have boxes where you keep jewelries, but you leave your soul exposed. So the Bible says there is a system that ensures that people continue to endanger their soul while they increase. You can easily know who prospered a man by looking at his soul. When I see you increase, even as your soul prosper, you have tapped into the economic system of the kingdom. This is why we are here. You get the message now? So, the battle for wealth, you see why Satan fights this subject? It's not about money, dear people of God. It's about redeeming time, preserving our souls, and fulfilling destiny. I have watched with shock the ease with which people will give up God and give up anything kingdom in pursuit of money. It is how Satan designed it. Because there is a she goddess called Jezebel. Jezebel being the system that describes anything antichrist. Jezebel is not just a woman. She represents a system. And notice that every time Jezebel appears, she looks for government. Jezebel always wants to sit at the seat of government. Why? Because that's where policies are made. That's where, that's the control room. The merchants of the earth, it is based on their harlotry with Jezebel that they increase. But let me show you what is going to happen shortly. Ready? Revelations 19, please. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Someone's life is shifting already. Because you see, if you, if you will access the blessings of God, you must understand his terminologies. You must understand his heart. And after these things, Revelations 19 from verse 1, I heard a great voice of much people saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power be unto our God and so on and so forth. Sorry, go to verse 18, chapter 18, chapter 18 and verse 2. Ready? And he cried mightily with a voice saying, look up please. Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen and is become the habitation of devils. And every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean things. Now read verse 3 if you are a Christian. Ready? One to read. For all nations, how many nations? Have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth, how did they become rich? Have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth wax rich. How? Through the abundance of her delicacies. Go to verse 9. The destruction of this system. Verse 9. Let's read together. One to read. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Verse 10. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment. Alas, alas, that great city Babylon that mighty city for in one hour how long in one hour is your destruction come in one hour is your destruction come go to verse 11 we're reading and then we'll stop at 13 verse 11 go ahead and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her 
for no man buyeth her merchandise anymore. That means Babylon is a business, Jezebel is a businesswoman. It's not just a system. They is, is economically empowered. Twelve. Now look at what she sells. These are her commodities. Hmm. Ready? The merchandise of gold, silver, precious stones, pearls, fine linen, purple, silk, scarlet, tyan wood, all manner of vessels of ivory, vessels of most precious wood, brass, iron, marble, tartine. Now let's read together. Cinnamon and others and ointments. She sells anointing. She sells anointing. You can buy it from her and become an anointed man. And frankincense, continue. And wine, and oil, and flour, and wheat, read on. And beasts, and sheep, and horses, read on. And chariots, and slaves, and... Where did she get them? From those who exchanged their souls for money. What shall it profit a man when you exchange your soul and gain the whole world? Here is this goddess that sits upon a horse. The Bible says she's a businesswoman. And her products, like you have a store, shop right. You have orange, you have this. That this woman has a buffet of products. Among them, slaves. So I can sing anything and it still sells because there are people who have been subject to that system. And the Bible says she can sell the souls of men. Babylon, the souls of men. Do you know how many people have gotten prosperity at the expense of their souls? They are still alive, but they are dead. Please sit down. They are alive, but they are dead. In one hour, in one hour, a man's destruction comes because of your fraternity with Babylon. Ah. But there's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up yeah. to break every chain, break every chain. That you will access, Satan will watch you rise like as though in a lift. And he checks your soul and sees that your soul is rising at the frequency of your wealth. That the more you become a millionaire, the more your knees touch the ground. And he says, by what technology has this man accessed? Where did he route this? Ah, Job said there is a path which no fowl has seen. The whelps of the lion has not gotten there. There are virgin dimensions left for the sons of light. Men who will not bow and yet prosper. That you can be that businessman who can close your business on Tuesday to worship. And people say it's not normal. You say of course. Because my fraternity is not with Babylon. I have understood the mystery of the raven that will bring Elijah bread in Brook Cherry. Are we together? Even as your soul, that's the key word, a millionaire, even as your soul prospers, where you become the treasurer of his majesty. It makes no difference whether the wealth is in the throne room or in your account. It's all his own. And he can make demand at any time. Listen, the reason why you trust your bank is the ease of withdrawal. You will run away from any bank that withdrawal becomes difficult. 
Please sit down. Shali praha subakatuji alakata. We've not started talking money. You see that this wealth thing is not just about money. I must be rich. I'm, that's, you see, sometimes in all fairness, when we say these things is the reason why hell does not panic at all. Because the devil knows that we will make a lot of noise and come back after three years and say, I've come. I don't mind my pride of two years before. I, I tried everything. It didn't work. I'm back. If it's the soul like Jacob, let it go. If you listen to what I show you, building on what your pastor has shown you, you will play life like a chess. It's a guarantee that I give you. It's a guarantee. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? Even as your soul prospers. I needed to say this so that you don't you don't, um, especially for those who may not be members of this church, so that you don't think, oh, there is, they are talking about money again. Let me tell you, think like that. It's a, it's a sign that there is an attack on you. The very fact that your understanding was so constructed. Because, because there are many things that resources depend on. You see, let me tell you this. I would never have a problem with poverty if it were neutral. I hate uh, poverty for one reason, its effect in the program.